Hi, I'm Michael Bianchi, and I've been building websites and taking names since 2014. Let me tell you what I've learned from my customers along the way. Most of the people that meet me when they have an original need for a website, I found that they don't know where to start. It's very seldom I find somebody that knows exactly what kind of content they want and uh, how much it's gonna, it should cost. So I'm going to attempt to answer all these questions that I've heard through a series of educational videos. Now, I'm not going to ask you to like and subscribe. This video is a uh, series is purely educational. Nothing's going to be sold on this site. Uh, my intention here is to basically lay down the bricks and the foundation for somebody who's looking into building, getting a website built. So we have to look at the four functions of a website. There might be three or four, but we'll go through them here. So the first uh, thing that a website should do is generate revenue. This is one thing a website can help somebody with. The second thing it could do is either build or enhance your branding. I'm not sure how visible these are, but if you're listening along, you'll get the information anyway. The third thing it can do is organize your internal management. So if you're already a company and you already have a website, there might be ways that you can organize some of your operations, especially a sales process and uh, inbound lead generation or management of some kind. The last thing a website can and should do is actually just be a lead page. Most people in the that sell a single product, such as um, the various makeup lines or even all the way up to a car or a house, uh, most needs will be solved with a lead page. A lead page is not a website actually. It is a one page form uh, with some sales information on it that a where a customer finds it through a lead generation process. So if you make a video on YouTube or you run an ad on Facebook, it should direct to a lead page. Sometimes there's an option to pay or sometimes there's an option to book an appointment or a quote of some kind. That's the thing that a lead page solves. So um, that's the first video. We're going to actually stop right there and kind of conclude it. On my next one, we're going to talk about how much should one cost. Thank you.